Well, good morning again. Daniel Valdez again. It is a pleasure and honor to talk to you. Thank you so much for listening. I really appreciate it. You voted. I listened. You wanted the San Marcos nerd in uh, uh, first up. Guess what? You're getting the San Marcos nerd in first up in a jam-packed, action-packed weekend that is featuring three Bands of America contests in the state of Texas. We're going to do the Central Texas nerd in in San Marcos. I never thought BOA would be able to pull off an event here in San Marcos, but here we are. We're going to make it happen. Let's talk about the event. Before we do that, if you're going to watch from home, BOALive.tv, that's BOALive.tv. Make sure to sign up for a pro pass. You can watch the entire event as, as well as all the other bands of America regionals, including Grand Nationals, from the comfort of your own home and on any, any device your heart desires. As far as media coverage goes, San Marcos is getting the live vlog. That's right. The Texas bands, the world famous Texas bands live vlog will be there in person. I cannot wait to see you all. We're going to have a lot of fun in the stands together. I will be busting out the live vlog for the San Marcos regional prelims and finals. I'm going the whole day. Let's do this. If you all know some good places, San Marcos to eat, let me know. I'm sure you all do, especially our friends over there at the Bobcat band. I know you're listening. I appreciate you all so much. Uh, so yeah, I'll be in the stands. Can't wait to see you all. If you're going to be there, drop me a line. Can't wait to, can't wait to hang out with y'all and have a a great time in the stands. So yeah, here we go. Lots to going on, lots to cover here. I'm not going to waste a lot of your time, so let's get to it. My friends, eat them up cats. Again, appreciate y'all at the Bobcat Band. My friends, welcome to the Nerdin. We are at the Bands of America Central Texas Regional Championship presented by Yamaha Corporation of America, September 28th, 2024, UFCU Stadium in San Marcos, Texas. 21 bands competing, 12 to finals. One program is walking out of here as the inaugural Central Texas Regional Champion. Here we go. We are starting at a later time. Always appreciative of that. Later time at 10.15 p.m., the home team, San Marcos High School, is coming out at 10.15. Douglas MacArthur out of San Antonio is coming in at 10.30. At 10.45 from the Austin area, John B. Connolly High School at 10.45. Legacy of Educational Excellence High School out of San Antonio at 11.00. A.M. at 11.15 a.m. Veterans Memorial High School. They're always at a Bands of America contest. Love when they perform at 11.15. 11.30 is Shoemaker High School. 11.45 is William B. Travis High School. And then at high noon, Lockhart High School. It's not just barbecue over there. They got a good, nice, they got a nice guard program going on over there, especially with the results they were able to get down in the winter guard season this past year. Can't wait to see them at 12 p.m. A&M Consolidated at 12.15 p.m. They were at the state marching contest last year for Conference 5A. They're coming on at 12.15. And if you're in the stands at 12.30, give a big, big warm welcome. Big shout out to Long Creek High School. They are a brand new high school out of New Braunfels ID for almost 200 years. And I'm not even embellishing that. For almost 200 years, there's only been one high school in New Braunfels ID, ISD, which is New Braunfels High School. Now we've got Long Creek High School just opened their doors a month ago and they are here at a bands of america regional congratulations to them best of luck to you all and and in the future as well they are on at 12 30 p.m we take a break and then we come back at 1 30 north side isd represent lewis d brandeis at 1 30 p.m piper high school Colmal isd they again another school that just opened up pretty recently they were at the state marching contest for conference 5a last year they are on at 1 45 p.m and then at 2 p.m sharp be in your seats for planet disco my friends over there in buddha the mo and gene johnson machine mo and gene johnson high school at 2 p.m i can't can't wait to see what they've cooked up over there. Uh, it's always an entertaining program they put on. Uh, 2.15 p.m. Chaparral High School. 2.30 p.m. Liberty Hill. They were at the state marching contest for Conference 5A last year. They're on at 2.30 p.m. And then at 2.45 p.m., James Bowie High School. Always in the mix. Barely missed out on national finals last year. That show really came together at the very end of the season. They're on at 2.45 p.m. And then at 3 p.m. sharp, it is my pleasure to present to you the former state champion, the Bands of America regional specialist, Claudia Taylor Johnson High School. Saw them at the NAIS Dean Fall Marching Festival just yesterday. Another fantastic performance, as always. They're on at 3 p.m. 315 McNeil High School. This is one that I'm really anticipating. I can't wait to see what they're cooking up over there at McNeil. Uh, definitely a program. Absolutely on the rise. Can't wait to see what you guys have, have to show for us. They're on at 3.15 p.m. 3.30 p.m. Maynard New Tech High School at 3.30. At 3.45, Henny Back. Yeah, Henny Back, the former national finalist, the state finalist from last year in Conference 5A, Robert E. Hendrickson. We lovingly call them 
Henny at 3.45 p.m. And then at 4 p.m., our friends at Dripping Springs High School presenting the reigning defending Bands of America Waco Regional Champions. They were at Nationals last year for the very first time, and they barely, again, another program, but these three programs, Bowie, Johnson, and Dripping Springs, barely missed out on National Finals last year in a really, really tough competition. I love what they're cooking, doing over there at Dripping Springs. Always a fan of their programs. They are on at the final program at 4 p.m., and then we're done for that particular contest. It's a short contest. Um, what's really cool about this is that for a while, this contest only had about 14 or 15 programs signed up. And then slowly but surely, we started getting more programs signed up. So now we're hitting a nice little spot at 21 programs at this particular event. You've got a lot of programs here that are doing either Bands of America for the first time or they're, they've just opened their doors within the last three or four years. And they're ready to take the next step. They're ready to take the next leap. This is going to be one of those stepping stone moments in um, in the Texas activity, in the Texas marching band activity, programs that are ready to take the next step. They've had a taste of success. They want more. <laughs> so what comes with that comes with way more responsibility, comes with a higher level of professionalism in terms of performance and, and, uh, and, and show design and whatnot. So absolutely, this is definitely one of those uh, events where the competition is going to be really good. It's going to be a real dogfight to get into finals. Um, and then when you get there, you just let everything out of the bag and you make sure you, you perform as, as with as much excellence and as much enthusiasm as you possibly can. So this event, is going to be really, really awesome. I can't wait to be there. San Marcos. Oh my God. Oh, let's talk. First of all, okay, let's talk San Marcos. I'm talking to you, San Marcos. Okay. I know, I know that, I know that your big point of pride right now, aside from the UTSA game, and I'm not going to hold that against you. Well deserved. I know that the big point of pride right now is that you bought all the beer at a bowl game. By the way, I'll give you three seconds to name the bowl game that you actually bought all the beer out of. Yeah, you can't. Don't worry about it. It was the first responders bowl, but don't worry about that. I'm a giant, I'm a giant nerd in sports and here as well. So don't worry about that. Um, yeah, let, it, we're gonna be on our best behavior, right? We're all gonna be good, right? We're not nothing weird's gonna happen. We're not serving beer in the stands or anything like that. We're gonna keep cool, we're gonna keep this professional, we're gonna make sure that everybody's gonna have a really good time at the event. Of course, I'm kidding, guys. Uh, but uh, uh, uh brand new, uh, not a brand new stadium, but a brand new venue for Bands of America to be performing in. I can't wait to see the logistics of this and how everything sounds and looks and everything. I think this is one of the first marching contests that the stadium's ever held. And uh, could coach Coley be, could totally be wrong with that. But uh, can't wait to see how it, what the sight lines look like, and especially how things look over uh, uh, in, in the finals contest when all the when the, you know the moon is up and all the lights are on and everything. Uh, it's it's a really really nice stadium. Kudos to you all. I can't wait to see what uh, what the stadium has to offer and what all these pr wonderful programs are going to be competing at the Central Texas Regional are going to be uh, showing up for us. So, folks, I am done here. Good luck to everybody. Be safe getting out there. I can't wait to see you all on the stands, live.txbands.com, to check out the live vlog. I will be there in person, boalive.tv, to catch this if you can't make it into the stadium. But if you are there, I can't wait to see you all. Folks, I am done here. Thank you so much for listening. I really appreciate it. Take care. Adios. Bye-bye.